All right, let's keep this one brief. A lot of you had asked about an update on Sam's foot. How's he doing? It's nice to see you back on your feet. Well, it's time for an update. So what better place to have this conversation than the place where the first video took place out here in my workshop. I'm out here doing some cleanup and organization stuff, seeing the comments roll in and think, you know what? Why not? Turn on the camera, do an informal video, and give some people some update about your broken feet. <laughs> to get you up to speed if you don't know what's going on, I've had foot problems for the past six to eight months where I would have flare-ups of the bursitis on the back of my heels, right where the Achilles tendon attaches to the calcaneus or your heel bone, and it would cause it to where it would be painful to walk, wear shoes, or do anything until that flare-up ended. I had seen my primary care doctor, got referred to a foot specialist, saw them for a long time, didn't really get anywhere, decided to go to physical therapy out of pocket, spent probably two grand on that, didn't have help, and was actually at the point where I was going to see a foot surgeon. So I met with a new surgeon, actually twice now, and talked with him, did a lot of x-rays, and he informed me that my personal issue, and this is just me, it's not like anyone in general, this is me, that my Achilles tendons are actually too short. That for whatever reason, whether it be how I was programmed, genetically made, whatever, or a, you know hereditary or just development, whatever, my tendons are a little bit too short. And that has caused more tension and pulling on my heel, which has caused my issue. One of the things I asked him though, he says, well, if this is genetic and you know I was kind of born this way, why am I having issues now? He then asked me questions to answer a question with a question. Well, how, what's your lifestyle been like? What have you done in your adult life? I said, well, you know, worked 13 years at a desk in IT, decided I hated that, quit that job, and I've been doing this ever since. And by this, I mean homesteading, gardening, projects, DIY stuff, and in 2022, building our entire homestead. As you guys have seen, there's been a lot of stuff. At that point, he said, well, there's your answer. For the majority of your adult life, you were sitting at a desk. You weren't taxing yourself, you weren't working and flexing and really doing much. But over the last year to two years, you've really been doing that. After a while, that pulling of that tendon over and over, the bone will create the spur to try and hang onto that tendon as it's getting pulled away and therefore causing inflammation and problems. When he put it that way, it kind of made sense. Oh, okay, well I can understand now why I'm having issues and yada yada yada. Cool. Well, Doc, what do you recommend? What's the fix for me? His reply was that there are basically two things we could do. One would be a surgery right on your heel, pull the tendon back off of your bone, cut the tip of the bone off and everything, sculpt it, and then put it all back, suturing it, stapling it, screwing it, and just fixing it that way. He also said that that would be a recovery time of probably nine months or more before I can walk normally. Option two is also a surgery, but it doesn't touch the foot itself. Since my issue is with the Achilles tendon, what they would do is make an incision in my calf muscle and where the tendon attaches to the muscles there, they would cut and lengthen it there, effectively making the tendon longer. The surgeon told me that this is a procedure he's done a lot of, and it's one that has a fairly quick recovery of up to eight weeks until you're back to normal, and that he's seen great results with patients with my issues and other issues, and it's a really, really good thing that he likes to do. At that point, I was pretty sold and said, you know what, sounds good. I don't like the idea of surgery, but it does sound like it is a pretty low risk one and something that you're telling me, I do trust you, that will fix my issue book me. Fast forward about two to three weeks and I'm now finding myself second guessing things. So I went through the whole rigmarole of preoperative labs. They do a bunch of blood work, make sure you're good, do a full EKG. I guess basically making sure you're not a risk, that they don't want to lose you. And after those were done, I then got scheduled, which was about a month, a month and a half later down the road. I wanted to make sure it was in the new year for deductible health insurance reasons, but also in a time period that fit more for me and also worked for the schedule of the surgeon. So there was a certain amount of time that passed from yes, book me, I did my labs to today. And in from today, I'm still about three weeks away from the scheduled surgery date. In that time period, I guess I've started to develop cold feet of sorts, thinking about surgery and everything involved, and also not having had a foot flare up for a while. As I've been waiting for the surgery to show up and the date to finally arrive, I've been thinking, okay, surgery's pretty, pretty invasive for me. I mean, hey, we're cutting me open here. Is there anything that could be causing inflammation, swelling, problems in the feet that could be exacerbating things. I went through a whole list of things and found that there could be some supplements that I was taking for immune support 
that might lead to some inflammation so i decided to stop those it's been about three weeks since i stopped them and i've not had any foot issues in fact as the videos you've seen us put out you can tell that it would appear like i don't have any foot issues at all this has kind of made me question stuff i still have the tendon tightness i can still feel like i'm not i don't know not fully stretchy and limber gumby town down there but i've not had any foot flare-ups i have been on ladders I helped my brother install a wood stove at a house and I was on a ladder all day, no flare up. I dug the trenches, ran that trencher, no flare up. I've been shoveling and digging for the greenhouse hydrant repair, no flare up. So I don't know. In all of those instances, I've been very adamant of wearing my new, okay, they were new, they're pretty broken in now, but wearing good quality work boots that have full support steel toe but also like a steel bar in the bottom of the sole for where your foot doesn't flex i've been making sure to wear those anytime i'm outside working so i don't know it is the combination of stopping those supplements and wearing these shoes enough to make it to where i don't have the flare-ups anymore honestly it's kind of seeming that way once i spent an entire day on a ladder helping install a wood stove came home that night woke up the next morning and had no foot issues that really got the gears turning in my mind of, wait a second, I normally would not be able to walk for a week or two after this. In fact, this is exactly what happened in our storage building, me installing the drywall, getting up and down just on that scaffolding. I literally couldn't walk for two weeks, but I could do the wood stove, uh-huh, I wonder. So here I am, currently January 3rd, and I think I'm gonna put off the surgery. I think I'm gonna call the doctor's office and say, look, something's come up, I need to put it off for about two months. Go ahead and put me on the list two months ahead in advance and let's go from there. In the next two months, I'm going to continue to try and cause a flare up. I'm going to continue to try and not baby my feet at all, like I haven't done the past two and a half, three weeks, but also do things that normally I would shy away from. More ladder work, more digging, more, I don't know, using the feet. I want to see if it's going to cause issues or if perhaps for whatever reason the shoes plus supplements is enough for me to be fine surgery is always an option it is always going to be out there that i can do but if in the meantime i can make do and not have problems i'm going to put it off i'm not really eager to be put under and get cut open and go through the, all the recovery if the end result is just well i'm a little more stretchy in my right foot but no big difference otherwise so that's where I'm at. That is the real life update. I know a lot of you have been curious and wondering, and that's where I'm at. I don't know what else to say. There's the recap and the story of part two of Sam's foot journey. Maybe it's the end. Maybe I never have to talk about the subject again and it's never an issue ever again. Or maybe in two months, I'll be telling you how I'm ready to go in surgery. That I really flared that up big time and I regret being mean to my feet. I don't know. Either way, you guys can always ask in future videos, let me know. Or if the day comes, I do the surgery. Yeah, I'll do another video and let you guys know otherwise. All the same, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. A little bit of update. Not a lot of actions, just me moving around my workshop, trying to make interesting camera angles. But otherwise, giving you all an update because I know a lot of you do care, have been wondering. A lot of people have sent emails as well. I really appreciate that. It is very cool. It is very touching as well that people who don't really know us would be so interested and concerned and engaged that's cool so i appreciate it all the way otherwise you got any questions or comments you know what to do leave them for us down below we've got some project videos coming up we got part two of electrical i got to finish up and show you guys actually i just have to edit that video and some more stuff planned while sam tests his feet but we get projects done too all right guys thanks for watching as always we'll see you on the next video bye Option two, yeah, blah, 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 blah. place in the calf muscle. What with you? What he does? Yeah. Option two is a surgery. Option two. Mmm. As of the make, as of the yeah. In those couple of weeks, I have. So in those couple of weeks, I've been. No, oh, what do I want to say?